What is going on guys? Today I need some advice, need some help from my fellow reef pack. Anyone that's kept Favias before, have you had issues with Favias stinging other Favias? I have this guy. He's clearly getting stung by something. I can only assume... I don't think he's just dying. It does look like sting patches, so... I don't think it's going to be the scully. It could be the enchilada, but... You'd think it would sting the scully first. Um, so yeah, anyone that knows, or anyone that's had issues with it before, definitely let me know in the doobly what's up down below. That would be muchly appreciated because I need to know whether to separate these guys. But what we're going to do today is get this guy and we're going to chop it to pieces. Let's go. We have our Favia in roughly a litre of water. I've got aside three mils of reef dip and that's an iodine based dip. Really good for when you're cutting through it, will help them heal. We've also got this Bratwell Aquatics Metacoral, but we're not going to use that one until right at the end. We'll get some fresh water once we're finished cutting. That's only about a seven or eight minute dip. This guy you can leave it in comfortably for half an hour. We've got our little frag rack over there that we've built because we don't have enough space. So let's get chopping. So, I guess we found our culprit. I don't know what it is, but if you do, let me know down below. I hope you enjoyed, guys. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure you stay tuned, because we've got another video coming out in the next day or two. It's an interesting one. 180. Towing an X-Trail. <laughs> Was it good? You did good, especially up that hill, man. Stay sexy, Reef Pack. Peace.